Hello, so here is Maria back, I'm making a new video for you. As uh, I mentioned in my previous video, I am creating a series of video about the nine civil service success profile behaviors. And today is the second one, which will be changing and improving. In, in order to give you some example of questions and answers for this kind of uh, questions, I will use the STAR technique, uh, which is preferable to answer if you want to pass the interview and catch the job. So, moving to uh, changing and improving questions. Question number one. Tell me about a time when you initiated change in a team or organization. So here is the brilliant answer for this type of questions. I was working in a previous department and I had some spare time available on Friday afternoon. I'd had some concern about the amount of paper and office supplies we were going through. And so I decided to carry out some research online to see if we could save money by ordering from a different supplier and cutting down on usage. After a few hours conducting research, I managed to find a much cheaper supplier for all our office supplies. And whilst the minimum order quantities were higher, over the year, I calculated we would save in excess of 1000. I also managed to find an online invoicing system that we could use free of charge. At the time, we had been printing off hundreds of invoices each month and posting them out to our customers. So this was another positive change that would save the company time and money. At the end of that Friday afternoon, I put forward my proposals to my supervisor, who agreed uh, the changes would be a positive thing for the both the office and the company. A few weeks later, the changes were implemented. So moving on to the next question, Tell me about a time when you received feedback from someone else and how did you react? So here is your chance to answer to your interviewed person how you react to either positive or negative feedback. Here we go, the answer. When I first started working in my previous role, my manager called me into her office a few weeks after starting to give me some constructive feedback. She said that whilst she was very pleased with me overall performance, she now wanted me to focus on dealing with more customers throughout the day. She went on to explain that she'd noticed I was spending a little too much time making polite conversation with the customers. And whilst it was important to provide great service, I needed to know speed up the process. I immediately took on board her comments and I went away and analyzed my performance. I decided to ask a more experienced work colleague who, how he approached dealing with customers in order to increase efficiency. He gave me some great tips and pointers for dealing with customers and I successfully implemented this into my daily working practice quickly and diligently. So moving on to the next question, which is tell me about a time when you had to deal with change. It is very important for civil service to be ready uh, to implement changes and improvements in the process. So here is the great answer for this question. In a previous company I was working for, a new manager took over our department and she wanted to make numerous wide sweeping changes to the way the team operated. We had been functioning the same way for many years and we had been extremely successful as 
a team. However, the new manager clearly felt we needed to change. Some people in the team were unhappy about the proposed changes, but I saw this as an opportunity for us to try out new things and to see if we could increase our output even far further. I am someone who enjoys change and I can see the benefit of it. I spoke to my manager to offer my support for the change and to see if I could do anything to help her implement the new process. She asked me to help create the new team operating guidelines and procedures, which I agreed to do so. Over the next few weeks, I helped my manager to create and implement the new procedures and I also spoke to other team members to encourage them to the see the benefits of the change. Three months after the changes were made, the team was performing to a better standard than ever. The next question is, tell me about a time when you had to overcome a setback. So let's see what you have, what we have for these questions. I was working on a project in a previous role with four other team members. Halfway through the project, one of our path suppliers unfortunately went into administration. This setback had the potential to put back the project by up to three weeks. The problem was the client whose project we were working on had given us a definitive time scale for completion, which could not be put back under any circumstances. We had to find a way to overcome this challenge, and so we got together to brainstorm ideas. No other suppliers in the immediate area was available. However, I recommended that we widen our search criteria online and, and eventually we found a supplier who was located internationally. That afternoon, I contacted the supplier and we began negotiations. Also, the parts they were going to supply for the project were going to cost us 10% more than we had budgeted for. It was essential we did not let the client down. Three days later, the parts arrived and we worked around the clock to get the project successfully completed on time and to the right standards. Next question. Tell me about the time when you changed the way that you worked. Specifically for civil service, it's very important for you to be ready to change you and uh, others. So here is the great answer for this question. In a previous role, I wasn't happy with the way I was carrying out a particular task. And so I decided to ask my manager for guidance. The task in question involved collating department sales figures for each quarter, which were then presented to company directors who would in turn assess overall company performance. I felt the way I was collating the figures was taking too long and it wasn't in a visually presentable format. After consulting with my manager, she agreed there was a better way to complete the task. We both decided a more efficient way would be to use an online app that had the facility to quickly collate the sales figures and then present them in an easy to understand presentation that could be accessed by the company directors. After carrying out some research, we agreed the best app to use was called Zoho Analytics. Although 
the new app cost thirty-six pounds per month. It proved to be very successful and so popular amongst our company directors that they decided to roll it out across the organization. Next question. So here is the last question and thank you very much for tuning to uh, my video and see you in the next video. Bye!